A lot of British films, they can be, I guess, tough and gritty. Is this a kind of a counter to that, to kind of make people leave the cinema smiling in a way? It's tough and gritty in a really lovely way. Yeah. I think there's still got an edge to it, Fast Girls. Um, but yes, I think Regan's done an amazing job with the, with the, the way it looks, the style of it. It's rare and uh, definitely different, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the thing with, you know, an uplifting sports summer movie is, you, you know, you don't want it to be grey and blue and miserable and depressing. And, uh, you know, hopefully I think people will get a smile on their face and walk out of the cinema uplifted. Yeah. That's the plan. Mm. Yeah, this is an inspirational film, aspirational film. You know, it was a positive vibe. We've got the Olympics coming. You know, the whole idea was to have a film that people could sit and enjoy and, and, and you know, like you said, come out of there smiling. Mm. Um, how much of a, a shock to the system was the training regime as well? Because I think you were put through a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were put stuff. through our paces. I actually thought I was quite fit before we started. And then I realised I wasn't. <laughs> um, it was it a was big shock. I think the first few, few sessions are the hardest. Um, the, the sort of the tagline when you're training with these kind of people is pain is nothing. I've not been brought up that way and I, I respond to pain and I stop. <laughs> so getting past that initial pain barrier was difficult. But then once you kind of get your head around it, it becomes a mindset, all the the encouragement around you, the support around you. And and then it, it does become, I want to say it becomes quite addictive. You start seeing the results, you feel the benefits, you get into that world. There's just not much space for anything else like I found myself I didn't want to talk to anybody unless we we're going to talk about running unless we we're going to talk about diet or unless we we're going to talk about something you know you becomes you get quite tunnel vision but it's good it's good it's good focus I mean athletes are focused individual people mm. so it was yeah it was it was I was a massive shock to the system I had never dreamt it would be <laughs> this hard and this intense and um you know it, it was just in the gym six times a week at weights running eating different you know I had to give up everything I loved really and and it was a lifestyle change and physically and mentally no smiling away there they, they, were awesome, <laughs> they were awesome like they were really fantastic uh, do either of you have a favorite scene as well that you filmed what was your favorite favorite scene that we filmed I think my favorite scene to film uh, was actually my scene in the car with Phil Davis when I just when Shania wins her first sort of um, significant race and she gets qualified and she screams I loved doing that. I like car scenes for some reason. Um, so yeah, that was fun. How's Phil's hearing after the screaming? He's, no. he's okay, you just need to talk to the left side. <laughs> he's okay. He's got two ears. Uh, for, for me, I think the, the scenes I enjoyed doing the most were the ones that we shot inside because we were, <laughs> we were filming Fast Girls in the middle of winter and uh, it looks like a beautiful sunny day, but it's it wasn't. three degree temperatures and we're sweeping ice off the racetrack most of the time. So to be to, you know the occasional day when we can just be inside in a room like this and put the lights up and stay cozy we're, uh, we're, we're, we're like gold dust mm. you know what a lot of the really amazing scene, running scenes to film it was so cold that that slightly took the ticket and it was slightly made it slightly uncomfortable but having said that even though it was freezing and raining the nightclub scene when we're running away from the boys and going down under that Waterloo graffiti bridge oh, that's awesome, that yeah. was amazing and we were running into taxis and at one time it really did go into me too hard and it <laughs> <laughs> but that was really fun all the girls together yeah I think maybe uh, for me just just some of the stuff where maybe the last scene when I'm with them talking yeah and I've had my speech prepared and they ruin it and stuff like that, that that's a pretty good scene where I'm trying to give them a motivational motivational speech and they start giving one to each other I'm like well, yeah. Yeah. I'm the coach here man like you know I probably enjoyed that the most you know it's just yeah. nice it felt very fresh that it was like, like yeah we just nice did it. scene but yeah